Okay, so I'm going to be talking about action potentials because it seems to be a topic that many people have problems with. So here we have um, basically the neuromuscular junction, which just means junction is where two things meet. So neuromuscular junction is where the nerve here meets the muscle, so that's hence neuromuscular junction, where they meet together. So this space in between where they do not touch is called the synapse or the synaptic cleft. So the thing that comes before the synapse is called the presynaptic terminal. And what comes after the synapse is called the postsynaptic terminal. So when you have an action potential, which is basically just um, your nerve sending a message to the muscle to tell it to contract or to ex extend or to do something, it's um, shown by this arrow here. So the action potential is coming down the nerve. And there's these channels in the presynaptic terminal here, um, which are opened by voltage by voltage because they're voltage gated channels which means that when there's a electrical charge stimulus these channels will open so as the action potential is coming down it's going to stimulate this channel to open and it is a calcium channel so all the calcium that is outside is going to now rush inside the presynaptic terminal because it was opened by the action potential now calcium it is inside the presynaptic terminal it is going to stimulate these, which these are synaptic vesicles. Vesicles are um, kind of like little carriers that hold um, that hold neurotransmitters. Neurotransmitters is just another word for a chemical, and they can hold any type of chemical. But in this case, they're holding what's called ACH, which is acetylcholine. So inside the vesicles, or like these little bubbles, is a, a chemical called acetylcholine. Now calcium is now that it's been coming in through the channel, it's going to stimulate the vesicles to release the acetylcholine. So it is showing you here how it is releasing the acetylcholine, these little dots, out of the presynaptic terminal into the synapse. So now we have ACH here inside the synapse. Now um, these channels here in the postsynaptic terminal, which is usually the muscle, hence the neuromuscular junction. These are ligand-gated channels, which another word for ligand is neurotransmitter or chemical. So a ligand-gated means that it opens in response to a chemical. This, this channel was a voltage-gated, which means it opens in response to electrical current. So this one opens in response to a chemical. So ACH is a chemical, and it binds to the channel, which makes it open. So now this channel is open, and all the sodium, these little pink dots, the Na, I'm going to rush in now that acetylcholine has opened the channel and sodium is going to rush in. Now after enough sodium has rushed in, ACH now has no, no longer has any more purpose in holding open the channel so the acetylcholine is going to let go and release from the channel so that the channel is going to close because it's not being stimulated anymore to stay open. So now we have acetylcholine just kind of chilling out in the synaptic cleft and it doesn't need to be there so um, what happens next is that an enzyme called acetylcholine esterase comes in and that's a long word but it's actually really useful because basically its function is in its name its name is acetylcholine esterase and the last part says erase and an enzyme is its purpose is to break down chemicals or speed up chemical reactions so in this case acetylcholine esterase this little green thing it's going to attach to the acetylcholine that has been floating around here after it let go. And it is going to erase or break down acetylcholine into two, into two, um, into two building blocks. Basically, acetylcholine, see how it's got the orange and the yellow? It's basically made up of choline and acetic acid. So the enzyme is going to break it down into those two parts. And once it breaks it down, choline is going to go back into the presynaptic terminal. This little green arrow is trying to show you like it's being recycled. Um, so they're going to reuse the choline and it's going to go back inside, back into the vesicles to, to promote the making of more ACH for the next action potential that comes down. And the acetic acid is just going to um, go away. It doesn't really tell you. It just tells you that it diffuses out of the, out of the cell. So that is the what happens during an action potential. And to sum it up, Really quickly, action potential comes down, stimulates calcium channels. Calcium comes and stimulates vesicles to release acetylcholine into the synapse. Acetylcholine stimulates the, 
the sodium channels to open. Sodium rushes in. After that, the, acet the acetylcholine um, releases from the channel. The channel closes. Acetylcholine esterase, an enzyme comes in, breaks down acetylcholine into two parts, acetic acid and choline. Choline is recycled to make more acetylcholine, and acetic acid just goes away. And that is all.